Good morning. We are en route to work. Welcome to my video. A day in my work life, a day in my work week. I don't know. Take your time. Take your time. Anyways, this week I'm going to be filming my work week and I hope you enjoy it. Starting off right now, I actually am on my way to work. I had to go back in the house to go grab my lunch, so I'm not late. I should be like right on time. I have to be at work at 9. It's 8.34. I have about a 20 minute drive, so everything should be going well. I made a coffee. We don't have any coffee cream. I'm upset, so now I have to go to Bucky's, buy the little coffee creamers, and put in my coffee. Like I have my coffee ready to go, but I can't drink it because there's no creamer in it. I just have sweetener in it, like the sweet little, what's that stuff called? Like the syrup? That's the only thing that I have in here. It is probably gonna be a little weird because I can't film my job because of what I do and like the things that I deal with, but I'll see how this goes. Like, I'll come back whenever it's time for me to go to lunch because, yeah, I definitely can't bring my camera in there. I can see if I can probably get some, are you drunk? I can see if I can probably get some footage on my phone, but it probably won't be a whole, whole bunch just because of what I do. If you don't know, I work in a pharmacy. I'm a pharmacy tech in training. Um, I'm not state board certified yet. I'm also not sure if I wanna be. Because, <laughs> like, I just, I really, I don't know if I just, number one, this is just a job. Like, it's not like, oh, the sun's out. I gotta put my shades on, sorry. Okay. It's not like, like, it's a good job and it pays well, but I just, like, it's just a job. And my coworkers are like, oh, are you gonna get certified, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I, like, yeah, obviously, so I can keep my job for now, but also, like, I just, I just, I don't really feel like I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait till the time comes because like, I know that like it is a good job and it pays, it pays pretty good. But like, it's just like, it's not my passion. It's just, it's just a job for right now while I'm in college. But I eventually will have to become state, state board certified because right now I'm just, I have, what's it called? I have my tech and training license. It's not a license, but it's like a, I guess, a certificate to allow me to work in a pharmacy in the state of Texas. And um, that's active for two years, and then I have to, I can't renew it. So, like, after the two years, like, I need to, sometime within that point, take my CTB. Texas State Certified Texas Pharmacy Board. CTPB, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> And then after that I'm certified, then I can like work in any pharmacy. I can do any and everything basically. I just I just don't know if that's what I want to do. It's just like I've been back and forth with it. I'm also trying to look for another job in the process because number one, I know that I, it's, I probably shouldn't be negative, but like I'm just being realistic. I know that I'm not gonna pass a state board exam. It has a lot of math and I'm not good at math. I'm not good at math, I'm not good at conversions. It took me two tries to pass my algebra. What was it, algebra? I had to take algebra twice in high school, and then I had to take that tax test twice in order for me to graduate. So math is not my strong point, so I don't know how that's gonna go. And but they have it to where you can work, where you like train, to become a certified pharmacy technician, but it's like you work in the pharmacy, you get hands-on experience, but then you also have to take like a little course that my job provides for me. But my manager doesn't schedule me enough time to go back there and actually do it because we're so busy in the pharmacy and I just, I just don't have the time to go back there and work on the pharmacy school. So. I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna work out for me. I don't know, we're gonna see, cause I feel like I've gotten the shit in the stick ever since I started working there. But, I don't know. I just, I wanna be in a new environment anyways. So hopefully I can find me a new job soon. Okay, anyways, that's enough rambling. I don't even know if any of that made sense. I hope it made sense. If not, I would do my best to re-talk about what I was talking about. It's lunch time. I'm on my lunch break. 
it's been a pretty cool day. We've been fairly steady. Not like too, too busy, but busy enough, you know? I usually like to sit in my car because I don't like sitting in the break room. One, because I just don't feel like talking to people <laughs> and being bothered with. I like to sit in my car and just like watch my YouTube videos. I'm actually about to watch Love and Slim. They posted a new video. And yeah, like it's me time. Like I don't have to talk to anybody, speak to anybody, be on anybody's time, you know, just chilling. So, oh, update. I did get iced, iced coffee creamer for my coffee. So I still have it. I can't take this in the pharmacy with me. So I just drink it throughout the day. just done i'm just about have a couple minutes left <sighs> my sleep is hitting me though i got the itis y'all i got the itis have a couple more hours left i have three hours left when i get back so hopefully the time will go by pretty quick oh yeah it should be because i will be filling the prescriptions when i get back so i actually like filling um it's fun it's easy sometimes i don't feel like filling because i gotta sit there and count pills but we count by five so it's fine and yeah that's pretty much my work day like i don't really do much it's like every day is almost basically pretty much the same it's just sometimes i do things different sometimes i make lunch depending on what time i have to wake up sometimes i bring my lunch sometimes i go get lunch sometimes i don't even eat lunch i'll just drink a smoothie today i just ate leftovers i had rice beans and meat i just mixed it all up and ate that and yeah i'm still just sipping on my coffee too because i need it i'm like getting a little tired but I'm trying to get through the day push through the day and yeah i really wanted to make this vlog just to document just like my everyday life what it's like actually working the actual job and being a college student i haven't started school yet i start school next month on the 22nd so i'm gonna throw a little bit of that in there so that's basically what the next probably couple of months about my channel is going to be about it's just how i'm getting through life with school and work and actually working and things like that I'm not saying that what other people do isn't work like for the people who do youtube specifically obviously it's not a regular everyday job like i have so and i know i'm not the only person that has an everyday job but still so i want to document that and show it and just bring the camera along and bring you guys through my days I'll let y'all know what's up what's going on with me and yeah i guess let me get back up in here i need to go to the bathroom wash my hands all that fun stuff so i'll pick the camera back up either on my break if i take my last break or whenever i'm heading home and just like that stop clapping my work day is over with i'm about to head home i need to go wash clothes find me something to eat i really want to go to I gotta go. I'm ready to get up out of here. I really want to go to um, oh, what's that place called? Crumble and get the new pineapple upside down cookie. So I'm about to call my cousin to see if she wants to go because I really do. I really want to go. So it got pretty busy the last the last hour there, but I was like, all right, I gotta go. I'll see y'all later. I will be back tomorrow. I'm sure we're gonna be busy again tomorrow. Well, I really want to try the pineapple upside down cookie from oh, I was gonna send it to you on update we're going to crumble it's a must it's a need I need to receive okay <laughs> we made it so we got their cookies we got the pineapple upside down a toffee and a macadamia nut Ooh, oh these cookies are so good i don't like sweets y'all i don't like sweets but these cookies let me get let me go before i eat the cookies up let, oh. wakanda. Wakanda forever. this is what i was excited for this is what i drove an hour for it looks like a titty a little bit okay it smells good
tastes like the cinnamon cookie. Oh, don't taste like pineapple upside down. It tastes like a cinnamon cookie with pineapple glaze on top. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I don't know, I can't explain it. If you've had a pineapple upside down cake, you know what it tastes like. Yeah, it gives me snickerdoodle vibes. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not quite pineapple upside down, but not nasty. Yeah, it's giving me um, a less sweet snickerdoodle. Mm. Okay. Okay, Crumble. Wasn't quite a hit, wasn't quite a miss. It was okay. I give it like a five. That one's kind of low on my radar. Good morning. It's day two of my going to my work week. Ugh. It's 7.55. I'm about to order me some Starbucks. Now, I usually, I have been ordering out like that or like ordering Starbucks because one, it's a cost. Like it's just, I can just make it at home. So, you know, I can save me some some good money. So, but today, we I'm, I'm only ordering today because I don't have any coffee cream at the house. And I don't have time to go to the store and then come back home, make a coffee and then go to work. I don't have the time today. So, I'm just gonna order me a coffee. Maybe I wanna get a hot coffee today. And probably something to eat while I'm at it. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. I didn't get in bed last night until like 11.30 because I had went to go get crumble cookies and then I went to visit my cousin. She's house-sitting for my uncle. He lives in Houston. I'm tired. I didn't get home. Yeah, I didn't get home until like, like 11 and I got I showered and everything all that in 30 minutes and was in the bed I was so tired let's go get our Starbucks I wanted to so badly to so badly I wanted so badly to get back in bed and just but you know when you get back in the bed it's 10 times harder to get back up so I just <laughs> I just went ahead and got up because I, I just knew I just knew I was not gonna get back up. I really hope today flies by. Usually whenever I, I'm sorry you can't see me, it's just the sun's blocking. But usually whenever I wake, I work early. I feel like the day goes by quick. I don't get off no later than 5.30. It is now 8.11 and I'm now en route to work it is a beautiful day out i can say i've always been like this i love the morning time i'm just not a morning person <laughs> does that make sense it's so beautiful and it's just like the sun's out it looks everything is fresh again it's a new day i just love the way it looks in the morning i like the way i feel in the morning i just feel different in the morning than i do in the afternoon yeah, I'm a little tired, but like, I'm just so, it's just something about the morning time and the way that the sun looks and feels in the morning time, it's completely different than in the afternoon. It's, it's like scorching hot, but when the sun's out in the morning and during the day, it's just, uh, it's so beautiful. I love it, but I just don't like waking up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love, I love me some sleep, but I also probably need to start going to bed at a decent time instead of going to bed at dang near 12 o'clock. Learning how to do my job well and just 
like just I'm still learning if you work in the pharmacy you know like it's just so much to learn you never stop learning every single day is something new especially if you're new and it's like I've gotten the hang of it but I'm just not I'm not as skilled as everybody else because they've been there for like five plus years and this is only month I tried it what November, December, January, March, April, May, June, July. This is month eight for me. So I still have a lot, lot, lot of learning to do. But it's just like when somebody's helping you and they're they're trying to get you to understand things and talk about things, like it's the way that you have to speak to people, okay? Like you have to talk to people. They're like, oh hey, let me show you how to do this. I see that you're having trouble with this. Let me help you out, type of thing, you know? I, I don't need you to constantly keep badgering and badgering and just be like, hey, you messed this up, this is what you're supposed to do. Hey, this is messed up, so let me show you how to do it. And I'm just like, my camera just died, but the phone still works. But yeah, like, you're just constantly badgering me. I just, it bothers me, so I just get quiet. I don't say anything. I just keep it cute, keep it light, and just on my business. I was like, Lord, I cannot wait to go to lunch. I'm ready to go to lunch. But it's little things like, like, it's my work environment. The job itself is not bad. It's an okay job. But me personally, I'm not the best at it because I'm not good at math and it requires some math, not like a whole bunch, but at least some type of math, you know? It's just not my strong suit, so I'm really trying to look for another job. I'm hoping that something comes along, but now I need to figure out what to eat. I'm honestly not feeling fast food. Like I hardly ever eat fast food. Number one, I don't like to waste my money on food if it's not good. And two, it's just, I'm just not in the mood for it. I don't want anything. I don't want McDonald's, Whataburger, Wendy's, Burger King. I don't want none of it. It's also very hot today. It's 93 degrees, but feels like 103. And it doesn't feel like 103. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's so hot out that my AC doesn't really get cold because like, it's cool, but it's not cold. Like at nighttime, you can tell the difference. Like it's blowing, it's cold. But whenever it's, it's heat, Honey, Texas has been hot. I think this is one of the hottest summers that we had. Like, I'm so excited for spring and fall because, one, I just like the holiday feel and the spirit, but also, it's like I'm kind of summered out. I didn't really do much this summer anyways to begin with. Um, I had plans, but it just didn't, they just didn't, they just didn't happen. But I changed my mind. I'm actually going to go to this local restaurant here. It's a little Mexican, uh, Tex-Mex restaurant. And give me some nachos because... I want to sit in somewhere cool and I don't feel like just sitting in my car because it's just, it's, ooh, you drunk? What are you doing? Oh no, absolutely not. Hope everyone's having a good day. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just kind of ready to go today. It was like an ant day. I had a really good morning. I enjoyed my morning. I had my Starbucks, my little bacon, egg and cheese, Buddha sandwich. It was really good. But now it's just that time of the day where I'm just like, I'm kind of annoyed a little bit. Just a little a little tiny bit. I kind of want to get a margarita on my lunch break. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I'm finally going home. I like ran out of there. I was like, no, I'm going. I'm leaving. I got to go. And then on my way out, this guy was cat calling me. I was ignoring him, acting like I couldn't hear him. And he was like, hey, miss, can I get your number? I just kept walking like I could not hear him. He said, you got a name? I just kept walking. I was like, uh, sir, absolutely not. <laughs> he looked like a little baby man. Sir, do you not? I'm grown. He was like, he was probably like 18, 19. That was so funny. That was so funny. I was trying so hard not to laugh when I got in my car because I didn't want him to know that I was like, that I heard him. Oh my God. <laughs> it's much, much later. It is. 10:47, and I've done another. Well, that's not true. I've been washing my clothes. I just put my clothes on. Not well. I'm about to move them to the dryer, and then I've just been chilling around the house, watching. Um, oh, what's that show called? A Different World. And uh, now I'm just about to have dinner because. I'm not, we don't really have anything to make right now. Well, that's not true. We do have something to make. Maybe I can make me something. And if I do, I'll have lunch tomorrow. So I don't have to go buy anything because I'm not trying to buy anything. Today was cool. It was eventful. It was, it, it was what it was. It wasn't my best day at work, but like, it was a day. And yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. It just, it was just a day. And it really made me realize how much I really need to find a job that I actually enjoy, that I like to do, that I want to do, 
that is hard though that is a challenge i have not quite given up but i mean like i'm still trying to do what i can when i can where i can and hopefully something will come up i've really been trying to look for a work from home job because i go to school and just i feel like it'd be just it would be so much easier if i could find a work from home job that find a work from home job that would just like work with my schedule i feel like i should be able to do a job that i at least enjoy or like can learn something from not saying that i haven't learned anything from working at the pharmacy it's just i don't i don't see myself doing that long term nor is it what i want to do long term like i'm just there because it's a job and it was a step up from what i was doing at my job but i do see that my school is hiring for like student workers but they only get to pay like ten dollars an hour but i have a car note a phone bill and other things that i pay and i'm trying to save up like a decent amount of money so that by the time i graduate i at least have enough to hopefully god willing get an apartment a place to stay so i don't know i'm kind of like going back and forth with it because i feel like if i work here they will obviously work with my schedule like it's a work at working at my college but i just i don't know but also it will be help me be help me be more active at my campus because it's like i'm not really active at school it's kind of like i just go to class and i go home but last semester i was trying to go to more events do more things that the school has to offer because i mean it is being it is paid for so i kind of want to utilize everything while i'm there but i think i'm gonna apply for the job see if i get it and then go from there and just like have faith and just believe that everything's gonna work out i used to make ten dollars an hour when i first like first first started working at my first job and now i've bumped up quite a bit so it's gonna be a drastic change i like to go out to eat and do stuff <laughs> i'm just really trying to make moves in my life and really get the ball going and rolling and like put myself out there do what i really want to do i want to do like some type of production job or abc news or something i know they have an intern but you have to have i think a bachelor's yeah i think i believe a bachelor's degree as well as or like the uh I'm trying to find something like in that field which that's what I'm going to college for is like production television I wouldn't have that under my belt college is such a like thing that's up in the air because now it's almost as if you don't even need a degree but also at the same time it's kind of like new I feel like it would be a good fallback for me just in case if things go south like there's nothing wrong with the contingency plan but I'm also really believing in my big plan or working for a production company or something in the creative field that has to do with film video anything like i don't know i'm just ready to start working and like working on my passions and do what i really want to do do what i feel like i was sent here to do like i have these gifts and i want to use them you know so enough of that shit chat good morning it is 10 30. i just woke up i just like literally just broke brushed my teeth wiped my face kind of want to make me something to eat but the thing is it's like I don't know if I have time to make something to eat. Because by the time I make something to eat, get dressed and get on the road. I don't know. Let me just go ahead and start. <laughs> I'm so tired. I was supposed to wake up at 8 o'clock. But I, I don't know. I just ended up not waking up at 8. I have my alarm set and everything. But I guess. I don't know. I really want a coffee. But I don't have the coffee products that I need. So... I think I'm just gonna go with my buckets and grab me a coffee. The coffee's actually pretty good. I'm sorry, I keep yawning. I can't stop yawning. I kind of almost forgot, forgot that I had to work today. I really did. I was knocked out. Like, I was. I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> If I'm being honest, I'm really not feeling going to work today. I really want to call it this, this job. It just, I don't even know the words for it. It's just, I'm just over it. I'm tired. I'm, I just don't want to do it. That's the best answer. I just don't want to do it. I feel so stuck and so trapped. Like nothing is going to change for me. And I'm applying for other jobs and like work from home jobs, but it's just, Nothing is really happening for me, so I'm kind of like, I just have no choice but to stick it out here at this job. 
It's not like I can quit and just be like, oh, I'm just gonna wait until I find another job. Like, I have bills. I can't just not work, you know? So it's just, I just feel so stuck. I'm late for work. <laughs> It's already 11, about to be 11.50. I have to be at work at 12. It's a good 20 minute drive. And I still wanna go get me a coffee, but I'm not going to, I'm just gonna go straight to work. And be a good, a good person. Today, I was like, I really don't even care. Like, I don't care if I'm late. I, I just I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. I will be there when I be there. I will get there when I get there. That's just how I'm feeling today. I just, I just really don't care. That's really how I'm feeling about it. I'm just like, I'm just so over my job and just everything that I'm going through. Like, I'm just, I'm just over it. Like, I feel like I've been, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like I don't have opportunities. I feel like nothing good is, like, I just, I'm just, like, I'm trying to create opportunities for myself, but I feel like it just is not, it's just not happening. Like, nothing is happening. It's not coming it's not coming into play and I'm just like I don't know what else to do I pray about it. I'm like God please help me like I want to have a job that I enjoy I'm, I'm trying to do this I'm trying to do that I'm trying to graduate school I'm trying to freaking have a better life for myself be able to support myself be able to have my own place and like in order for me to do that I need to have a job that will pay me enough so it's just uh, it's so freaking stressful so I'm I'm trying to create opportunities for myself, but it's just not happening. Like, it's not happening. Like, I really, I literally don't know what to do slash in or where to start. Like, I don't know where to start. I, I don't even know the first thing about, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. And I was, I was talking about this with a friend last night, actually, because we haven't, we haven't caught up in a while. She's like, how are you? I said, I'm just, like, I'm just like that's my answer i'm just i'm just okay i'm just fine I'm not mad not sad not happy not ups i'm i'm just like that's my emotion i'm just so yeah i know i'm going on this like huge ass rant but it's just frustrating whenever you're really like you're really trying to make something for yourself when and I'm really big on actually doing what I enjoy. I'm really big on people actually having a job that they enjoy, doing what they want to do, do what makes them happy, and do what they were put here to do. Instead of just, like, I wasn't created just to work, you know? Like, that's that's all that I do. I just work. And I'm, I'm, I'm just over it. I'm done with that. And I'm just, I just wish for the life of me that I did have a job that I enjoyed and that I can be in these spaces where I can create and just enjoy what I do and like really have meaning to my job like I'm just I'm tired of just working like it's just it really has gotten to the point where I just I don't know I don't know it's like I'm hopeful and I'm trying to keep going and keep believing that I can't be successful and that things will change for me and I just gotta keep trying my best but I honestly don't feel like like I really don't like nothing happening, nothing is changing. Like nothing. So I don't know. We'll see how I'm just I don't even know. It's frustrating thinking about it. It really is. It's just it's just so frustrating. It's lunch time. I think I'm gonna go get me a baked potato today. Well, today so far it's been pretty and my stairs all in the way. It's like all over the way. But today so far it's been it's been okay. It's been a pretty cool, chill day. Um yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Finally was like I was there at Sonic, I got my baked potato and ain't nobody answered me yet. I heard now that you can add cream to your drinks. So this one I'ma do. Holy shit. They got barbecue sauce all over this thing. So, as you can see, I'm home. Today was another cool, fine, okay day. I'm just regular, schmegular day. I went to Sonic and I was sitting there for a long time because I really want to get a drink. And I'm just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. Nobody came to me to like the little stall. Probably for like a good 15 minutes. And the girl finally came up and she's like, oh, how can I help you? And I was like, 
Yes. <laughs> it was so annoying, but I don't want to be rude because that's probably business. It's like working in retail. I get it. I understand, you know. I don't know what I'm about to get into tonight. I ain't like going nowhere, but I mean, as far as being at the house, doing stuff at the house, um, I know I need to get into putting these clothes up. Okay, these were completely stark black when I first bought them, what, like a couple months ago? I haven't made a video about them. But now, they're ash gray. Like, they're not even black. How do you keep black jeans black? What's the secret? Let me know. I've Googled everything. I think wash them with like vinegar or something. I don't know. Clothes are put away. Everything's in the closet. It's 11.53 and I have to be up for work at nine. Um, I work all day on the weekend. Only two technicians work on the weekend. So it's just gonna be me and another person. So we do everything. The weekends are very, very tired. I get home like exhausted because we do everything. We feel, we're on the phone. We're talking to patients. We're giving their prescriptions. We do everything. It's like, no help, just us two and of course the pharmacist. So right now I'm about to make me lunch for tomorrow because we only get 30 minute lunch on the weekends and that's really not enough time to like go and grab something to eat. And also I just don't want to go grab anything to eat. So I'm just gonna make me a quick little lunch. I usually just make rice, beans, and meat, mix it up. And that's my lunch for tomorrow. And it lasts me for a good couple of days too. I am a little tired, not too. I'm tired, like sleepy. I'm a little bit sleepy today. So I'm gonna get this done and head to bed. <clears throat> it's Saturday, we're running a little behind, but not really since it's the weekend, there's like nobody on the road. So I should make it in time. But good morning. It's a beautiful morning. I did not want to wake up today because I was tired. I'm more like sleepy, not tired, just sleepy. I still didn't have any coffee this morning because we still don't have any coffee cream. I'm gonna have to remind myself to buy some before. Oh, when I get off of work today, my eyes look so dang tired. Like, I did wake up like not super long ago, but dang, like I still, I just, my eyes look so dang tired. It's lunchtime, I only have 30 minutes, so I'm like really trying to rush to go get my food. I set an order, I just got some shrimp fried rice and an egg roll. So I should be good. I'm gonna try to go get my food. I already only have 27 minutes. It's like less than 10 minute drive. When I get back, I should have at least like right at 20 or so minutes to eat my food. I'm just gonna eat it on the way back. So it's been a cool Saturday, uh, not too busy. Busy enough for a Saturday. We're usually really not that busy on the weekends because it's the weekend. We'll have like a little rush. I guess it seems like we're a little bit busy because there's only two of us, but it's really not that busy. On the weekends, we really do a lot of like chores, like housekeeping things to do in the pharmacy, like sending off orders and uh, checking in orders, stuff like that. Like little. Let's make our lunch to go. And the coffee. I finally bought coffee cream. I bought coffee cream. <laughs> Now I'm about to make me an iced coffee. Where's my cup? That was good, Riley. 
drinking the chameleon cold brew. This stuff is so strong, but it's so good. It's expensive though, but like it's worth it. Definitely a lot cheaper than going to Starbucks, but that's for sure. And that coffee. Not that it's not good, but I mean like it's your Starbucks, you know. Okay. I gotta go, it's 9.35, but what's gonna make me a toast strudel, but we don't have time, so off to work we go. Okay, look. I gotta stop. Lunch break is over. Back to the grind I go. I have four hours left. We're gonna get it done, wrap this video up, and get up out of here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Please subscribe, be a part of this journey that I'm on. I don't know what it is, but just come come see me live life and try to figure stuff out. I love that for me. And you. <laughs>